When should you take profit in Bitcoin? Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, guys, wherever you are in this beautiful world, whenever you're watching this video, welcome to the Bitcoin family channel. For the newcomers, my name is Didi. In today's video, three awesome news items, short, powerful, and funny. Yes, also jumping a little bit into the charts, but more the mindset when to take profit, and also an inspirational quote, trying to keep it as powerful and short as possible, so you don't need to spend too much time watching my face all day. Now, I wish you a beautiful day, give me a thumbs up already, and let's jump into the charts now first. Bam. The first news item is that BlackRock iBits spot ETF had a new autumn high of inflows of $875 million worth of Bitcoin. That's 3% more than the previous all-time high day of inflows in the spot ETF and BlackRock. This is what we're going to see more and more and more happening. Yes, institutional investors investing through a third party like BlackRock or any of those others in the Bitcoin spot ETFs. That's not their keys. That's not their Bitcoins. They don't give a fuck. They just want to make profit. Again, I am here to wake up the normal people, you, the normal class, that should be buying Bitcoin in a different way, not through a spot ETF. Buy Bitcoin, send them to your own custodial wallet, online or offline, it doesn't matter, multiple signature, preferably, but please hold all those Bitcoins in your own control. Don't hold them on a bank, don't hold them on a third party like BlackRock, don't do that. That's not your keys, not your Bitcoin. But amazing to see that that Bitcoin adoption is happening massively at those institutional levels as well. Government levels, institutional levels, even complete country levels, president levels. Everyone understands the power of Bitcoin, the gold of the 21st century. So yes, this all-time high of inflows in BlackRock, we're going to see multiple of new all-time highs being created in the next 12 months of this bull market in Bitcoin. I will come back later to when you should be taking profit because these people are only in it for profit and they will make the market crash. But I will come back to that later, guys. That was the first news item. The second news item uh, is a very funny one. I just read an article about Colombia. They were now having this beautiful United Nations event because they were lagging of hotel rooms. They're putting the UN members into sex motels. Yes, you heard me right. They're putting, Colombia is putting the United Nations members in sex hotels. And now all those UN members, they are like, oh, that's so strange. I've never been here. I've never been to a sex motel. What kind of swing is that? What kind of chair is that? What kind of machine is that? Hey, there is not even like a place to put my clothes because normally people just stay there for a couple of hours and they're all la acting like, ah, that's strange. That's what they only do. We pay tax so those people can just visit those hotels all their life. That's what we see in all the videos, guys. Don't be fooled. Those people exactly know where they are. They don't want to be in the hilt. Like the question is, hey, uh, Mr. UN, uh, uh, the question will be, hey, uh, Mr. UN, where do you want to stay? Do you want to stay in the Hilton or do you want to stay in any other fancy hotel? And then those guys will be, no, no, put me in the sex motel with the swings because then, you know, uh, we have so much working pressure. <laughs> Maybe we can blow some pressure off uh, by uh, putting a beautiful girl in a swing and have some sex with them. I think that is what happened. It's not like by mistake. Please don't be fooled by the mass media. They will tell you by mistake, there was not enough hotels. Nah, I think it's all by choice. It's time we get to say goodbye to all those centralized entities that pretend to do something good for the world, that pretend to want to save the world. And of your tax money, they're renting sex hotels with swings in it, sex swings, sex machines, and all the other stuff that my wife and I also dream of having in our bedroom. Nah, that was just a joke. That was a joke. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe it wasn't a joke. It's for me to know and for you to guess. But guys, Let's be honest, that is not like per accident. But yeah, that was the second news item. The UN members in Colombia are now experiencing sex slave machines or something like that. Now, the third news item for today, guys, is that today, the 31st of 
October is Halloween night. I'm going to celebrate as well with a group of friends at a beautiful beach bar over here. They are having a Halloween night. It's also the last day that you can participate in the NFT giveaway for the ddbambam.me community. So you can still retweet, repost any of our posts and then just put that link in the form online. And then, yes, you will be able to win one of those really cool NFTs. You can check them in OpenSea. If you search in OpenSea to ddbambam, you will find our NFT collection over there. And also, this is the last day to be able to buy one of the VIP packages and receive tokens when we go live with that token. If you buy the 1st of November, the same package, it won't include token. It will include all the other benefits that a VIP expects and it will be a VIP membership group, it will be educational platforms, it will be signal groups, it will be a course platform with more than 200 trainings, it will be a shitload more, but it won't be with tokens. Today is the last day to buy the same VIP package for the same price, including tokens that will soon go live and you will be able to sell maybe even with profit and by that break even with your investment. So last warning for that. So that were the three news items. Now let's quickly jump into some tips when to take profit when it comes to Bitcoin. And it probably won't include too many charts, so uh, enjoy my tip. So now let's jump into the next part where I will tell you when it will be time to take profit when it comes to this bull cycle in Bitcoin. Every day, guys, I open my video with the four hour chart and the day chart and I start to zoom out. And uh, yeah, you know, I do this always, but it's like maybe too often every week because Bitcoin is now surpassing 70K. We are around 71, 72K. The new all time high is 73,000. 800 US dollar. If we reach that, that would be a new all-time high. If we don't reach that, we will stay below that all-time high. So that is what I told you in all my videos in the last couple of weeks. 72,600 is that level of resistance. That's what we need to break to create a new all-time high and even take it further up to like 80K, 85K, 95K. Now your question should be, when do I take profit? And I know this is one of the most painful things in crypto, taking profit. Because probably you are believing in Bitcoin as much as I am doing, and you're keeping your Bitcoins as your capital store of value in the long term. But there is, of course, a trick to multiply that capital a little bit quicker. And that is to dollar cost average near the Bitcoin top and dollar cost average near the Bitcoin bottom again. And the top, in my opinion, will be in 2025. And the bottom, 12 months later, end of 2026, beginning of 2027. So those two moments in the next three years will be very important for you guys. Now, we can still make some profits here and there in the short-term volatile swings. But if you want to zoom out a little bit and take it to the bigger picture, you will be taking profits in 2025 around the top. Am I going to guess the exact moment? Is any influencer going to uh, guess the exact moment? Is any TA specialist going to predict the exact moment? They're all not capable of that. I am not capable of that. The only thing that I can do is TA. I can analyze the charts. And when all those indicators on those charts telling me, hey, it is time to take profits, that is when I will start to take profits. When it comes to the four-year cycle, you need to disconnect completely from your emotional involvement in Bitcoin. Also, especially in all the altcoins, shitcoins, pump and dump coins, NFTs, whatever you call it. Taking profit is never bad. Nobody got poorer of taking profit. Now, when that moment will be there, I will be there to guide you. You need to subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell to be warned that that video will go online. So do that right now, because that is the only way I'm going to share with you. Of course, also in Twitter, etc. but YouTube will be first. In my opinion, the profit taking moment is somewhere between 15 to 20 months after the halving. The halving was in April 2024. So 15 to 20 months after that halving, that will be the moment we will be needing to take profit. Does that mean we're not going to take profit now at the end of the year when we hit, for example, 90K or maybe a week to 100K? You could be taking profit there as well well, because there will be a dip in January again and you will always be able to buy back cheaper. And I think that is the most important 
mindset that people need to understand that there is always a new trade. There is always a new possibility to enter into Bitcoin or Ethereum or any other um, altcoin again. If you sell here, you will be able to buy back cheaper. So you earn a little bit more Bitcoin or maybe a little bit expensive. Or, but then when the price goes up again, you earn profit. There is multiple ways to take profit. 10% profit from 10K to 11K or from 100K to 110K is 10% profit on your capital. It doesn't matter where you make that 10% profit. So the ultimate moment to take your profits is when all the indicators start to tell you this is overbought. There is too many people going into Bitcoin. The butcher is talking about Bitcoin. The taxi drivers are talking about Bitcoin. My over grandmother's niece is asking me about Bitcoin. When that is going to happen, when everyone is in euphoria, when everyone is buying Lamborghinis, houses, whatever they want to buy, or whatever they think that will make them happy to buy, that is the moment the indicators will start flashing and will tell us now it's time to take profit. And then just exit. Exit that market. Just take your profits. If your goal is to make 100K, take that 100K. If that goal is taking 500K, take that 500K. If your goal is to become a millionaire and you reach that million, take that million. There is always a bear market. It's a 12-month crash. Very painful crash if you stay in that market. If you stay in Bitcoin, Ethereum, altcoins, meme coins, 12 months, you will see your portfolio decline and it will do a lot of pain because you always start believing in that bear market. And now we go up, now we go up. And we keep falling, falling, falling. It will hurt as fuck. Don't be that guy. Take out your profits. See Bitcoin, altcoins, meme coins, NFTs all drop at that new moment that we have a bear market bottom we wait for a confirmation that we are leaving that bear market bottom and that is when we start to buy back into bitcoin and those coins that you still believe in and maybe you will only buy back 10 percent or 20 percent or 25 percent of the capital that you took out and the rest you do something else with maybe you diversify it into gold if you believe more in gold go follow also of course peter shit or if you want to believe in real estate, buy an apartment. Or if you want to believe in cars, buy a car or a watch, buy a, whatever it is. But take that profit. And that moment will be there in 2025. I will be there to guide it. And as that moment will be there in the end of 2024, I will be telling you as well, as well in December, this is, this is it. The bull market that was there one year earlier, take your profits. I will be there. You need to subscribe to the channel. I think this is the most important lesson that I can give you in this bull market. Yes, you will experience a furia. Yes, the altcoins that I told you to buy, they will make shitload of return on investments for you. And yes, when we are nearing the top, you will believe that there is no moment that we will crash. You will believe that it's going to go higher and higher and higher. It's not going to happen. There is always two people in this industry. The people that are successful and earn and the people that are unsuccessful and lose. For a market to exist, you need buyers and you need sellers. And for people to make profit, there will be a shitload of people that are also making losses. Please understand that. This is a trading industry. Profit making people, people making losses. 99% almost of the people is making losses. And why? Because they let their emotions influence all of their decisions. Their greed, their passion for more. Their hunger for even higher return of investments. They are 10x up and they want 20x up or 1000x up. It's a long-term portfolio strategy game. And that's what we are going to educate people at ddbambam.me about. How to structure your portfolio in a strategical way that you will be taking profits slowly. Or you'll be able to keep taking profits slowly by exiting at the right moments, entering back at the right moments. No charts today. That was my trading chart tip for today, guys. Now let's jump into the last part. The inspirational quote for today all has to do with gratitude. Because we just talked about taking profits, gratitude is something you need to start and practice. Because gratitude makes sense of our past, brings peace for today, and gives you a vision for the future. Think about it. Gratitude will make sense of all the things that happened to you in the past, will bring you peace for today, and will give you a vision for the future. 
Because if you start to be grateful for all the things that you experienced in the past, they all will make sense. Even if it was a negative experience, if you are even grateful for having that negative experience, steering you in another direction in life, because something happened to you, being grateful for that will make sense of the past. That's why it happened to you. Being grateful every morning when you wake up, you're alive, you're happy, you're healthy. Whatever it is, you have food, you have children. Whatever it is that you're grateful for in the morning will give you peace for the day because you are already there. You are happy. And being grateful for all the things that you already have, not all the things that you want, more and more and more, being grateful for what you have will already give you that internal happiness that you're searching for. That's the peace for today. And because you're grateful, you turn into a happy person, you turn into a person that's attracting a lot of happy people, the law of attraction, and all of that combined will give you a vision for the future, what to focus on next, what to strive for, which dreams to pursue, whatever it is that you want to reach in life, to go for that. It all starts with being grateful every single day. It will make sense of the past, it will give you peace for today, and it will give you the vision for tomorrow. Stop being greedy. Stop being envious. Stop starting your day with stress because of all the things that you don't have influence on. They happened in the past. You can't predict what's going to happen today. Just be grateful for whatever it is that happened today. And at the end, when you keep repeating that, when you keep being grateful for all those things, for even being able to watch my beautiful videos, <laughs> if you keep repeating that, in the end, you will create your vision for your future, the goal in your life, the purpose of your life. And again, I hope you listened to yesterday's video. The purpose of your life should not be selling your time too cheap to somebody that will tell you what to do that will make you also unhappy at the same time. That is not the purpose of life. Start with being grateful every morning, guys. That was everything for today, guys. I hope you really enjoyed today's chartless video. And yeah, maybe a few pop-up charts, but not like what you used to. If you did enjoy this video, give the video a thumbs up, share it with your friends and family, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, and leave a comment. What do you think about, of course, the news, the funny Colombian sex motel? Uh, what do you think about the tip about when to take profit? And what do you think about my last inspirational quote? Let me know down below. Thanks, and if you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and share it with as much as people as you know, because I want to reach 100K subscribers in YouTube before Bitcoin reaches 100K US dollar per Bitcoin. Bam.